Hello everyone, welcome back and in this tutorial we are going to talk about the anatomy of cubital fossa. So the cubital fossa is this triangular depression that lies in the anterior aspect of the elbow joint. And the cubital fossa is important as an anatomical landmark because several major structures pass between the arm and forearm through cubital fossa. So the cubital fossa serves as a transition area for several major structures to pass between the arm and forearm. So we are going to discuss the cubital fossa in terms of its boundaries and contents. So first we will discuss the boundaries of the cubital fossa. And then we will move towards the contents of the cubital fossa. So the lateral boundary of the cubital fossa is formed by the medial border of the brachioradialis muscle. While the medial boundary of the cubital fossa is formed by the lateral border of the pronator teres muscle. While the apex of this triangular depression is formed when these two muscles meet inferiorly, as you can see. And if we talk about the base of this triangular depression, so that is formed by an imaginary line that is drawn between the medial and lateral epicondyles of the humerus. And if we talk about the floor and roof of this triangular depression, so the floor of this triangular depression is formed laterally by the supinator muscle, while medially this floor is formed by the brachialis muscle. And the roof of the cubital fossa is formed by the skin, superficial fascia, deep fascia and bicipital aponeurosis. So these were the boundaries of the cubital fossa and now let's talk about the contents of the cubital fossa. So there are four major structures which pass through the cubital fossa and we will talk about those structures from the medial to the lateral side. So from medial to lateral side, these structures are the median nerve, the bifurcation of the brachial artery into ulnar and radial arteries, the tendon of the biceps brachii muscle and the radial nerve. So the median nerve passes between the two heads of the pronator teres muscle to enter the forearm. The brachial artery bifurcates into its two branches as soon as it enters the cubital fossa. And those two branches of the brachial artery are the ulnar artery and the radial artery. The tendon of the biceps brachii muscle on entering the cubital fossa inserts onto the radial tuberosity and through the bicipital aponeurosis into the deep fascia of forearm. And the radial nerve divides into its superficial and deep branches as soon as it enters the lateral aspect of the cubital fossa. And in the roof of the cubital fossa, there passes a vein which is this vein called the median cubital vein. And this vein joins the basilic vein to the cephalic vein. So these were the contents of the cubital fossa and with that our tutorial on the cubital fossa comes to an end. So if you have any confusion in what we studied, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much.